prologue. We live next door to each other as kids. And now, the same city. We were never close to but we knew each other. I'd see him here and there. We were aware of each other. We kept our space, but not consciously. We just ran in different spaces. But we were always aware. Social. Another body, another name, another image has circulated. The newest body, name, the latest image to haunt. It's shameful. I posted, now is not the time for apathy. I liked it. The fight for equality continues on. Liked it. And then I posted a hashtag in three words. Words I thought anybody could get behind. I didn't quite like that, so. I responded with the hashtag and three words. Nothing offensive. Words I thought anyone could get behind. I didn't quite like that, so I deleted it. She deleted my response. Totally hypocritical. My page, my space. And yes, I edit. I mean, it's the only place where I can build the life in the world I actually want to inhabit. I respond to her posts a lot. We share the same algorithm, politically. My response was to delete it. Erasure is never okay. So I responded with, this isn't really a race issue, not really. This is about abuse of power. I responded, are you crazy? I responded, this is about equality the human experience. No time for stark divisions all racial lines. This is a time for us to share our humanity together. I deleted it. So I messaged her. He messaged me. We haven't seen or spoken to each other for a while. The last time was at this concert. She was a little mad at me because the MC performed a song with the N-word in the chorus, and she saw me sing along to it. She really didn't, she didn't say anything to me, but after the show, she was cold to me. He messaged me. Hey, Kim. I know it's been a while. He wanted to know if we could talk. I guess clear the air. Can we sit down for coffee sometime? Sitting down. I want to ask you what you meant, <laughs> but I'm finding it hard to ask you. What I would rather do is just tell you what I thought about what I think you meant. I can explain what I meant. Oh, I'm sure you can. But can you explain what I read or what I took it to mean? All I'm saying is that we're all comprised of matter. Matter being that essential molecular element of which we're all built. Solid matters like you know trees and water, uh, solids and liquids. But sound, like the voice, for example, wasn't always considered matter. In fact, matter used to only be comprised of a set of solid objects. But all along, it was all matter. Uh, and what happens to matter split? Does it explode and decimate into millions of bodies of color? In whose hands split that matter? What we are talking about here are lives split, shaken, until they become bombs. Our lives, their lives, it's all ridiculous. We're here and we can decide how this is going to go. This doesn't have to be, shouldn't be. And we, us, we don't have to ascribe. And aside, there was that one summer after senior year of high school, 
We were both short on credits. Our friends took off, but we had to stick around. So we, got, we both got jobs at the library to earn a little extra cash. And that was the summer we really got close to each other. We talked about books and <laughs> we spoke joints on our lunch breaks. And that was the summer that I got into R&B and I turned her on to indie rock. And I thought to myself, man, what cool chick. I remember it was that one night after our shift, we got these tall cans and decided to break to the school. We heard someone, so we ducked to the only open room we could find, the chemistry room. We were, it was dark and we were super quiet. We drank some more and we started to get really, really close. Maybe it was because things were starting to come to an end we got close to, but, but we didn't. She stopped suddenly, said she had to go home. We are on the same side now. Are we? <laughs> yes, <laughs> we want the same thing. Another body is in the street. And your immediate impulse is to is to to correct me to to argue semantics with me to say well actually kim i don't know what side that is and side in particle physics antimatter is comprised of antiparticles which have the same mass as ordinary matter but an opposite charge when we say Black Lives Matter. You think that's us saying we're special? I mean, look at us. We're getting shocked. No, but it is sort of like making your suffering worse than others. What uh, did you just say? That's not what I meant to say. Um, what I meant to say was your suffering is like, what about all that stuff in Africa? All that Boko Haram stuff. No, you just can't. Or like, women being assaulted all over the world. Or gays and lesbians. I mean, yeah, but that's. that's Hispanics that's, being deported and shot at border I, crossings. No, no. Or this, hell, that, even white folks living in Fort Black. Cold, Wacken, cold. They are yeah. always getting punished because of yeah, but what, crimes I, of others. All lives can It's not true. And I'm all for. Civil rights, but no, really? people, I, property damage, rage, it just doesn't work. It's not strategic. All lives can. That's all I'm saying. Let's pull the context of race out of the equation. We have to break this down to the root. Human wickedness. Yeah, okay, and, and sometimes humans kill other humans because of their race. I just wish we could move on. Be ourselves. Be individuals. Be our own perfect stars. Remember when we were kids and we'd always have these block parties? You know, kids would always be getting their faces painted like Spider Man, and there were always you know, these bike races going on. We were just kids, that's all. Yeah. What if we. I, I was the only black kid at that block party, Cole. <laughs> I didn't see it like that. You didn't see I was black. I didn't treat you any differently. Yeah, but not everybody was like you. And aside, she wasn't always like this. And aside, I was silent. I used to be silent. She used to be real easy going, a cool chick. I used to hold my breath, you know, breathe shallow, up here in my chest. We grew up the same way. Yeah, but the way we were perceived was different. But that doesn't mean those perceptions are true. Cold water and trees are in the same forest, but they are not the same. 
different value, different mass, different use. Are you willing to decrease your mass? I mean, just say it. Black lives matter. Okay. And do white lives not matter? We're not talking about what doesn't matter. But it's exclusionary. It's contextual. In this climate, it pertains to the splitting of black atoms without consequence. And aside. I really just want to leave. I feel sick. I want to give Kim a hug and tell her that I'm sorry. But at the same time, I also want to just tell her to get over it. Life is hard, and there's no measuring stick for suffering. She can change all this by just being herself, not this angry black woman. And aside, I want to just tell Cole, you know what, forget it. You know, drop the whole thing. You know, it's all good. But too many times I've swallowed myself to make white people feel less uncomfortable. I just want to know how to make it right. Cole wants to know how to make it right. He wants me to tell him, but... I don't know, I just woke up this way. I don't know how to climb into the hearts and brain and rewire the circuitry. I mean, who does? At this point, I just am trying to keep it all together. I want to tell her that I'm sorry. I don't want apologies. I just want it to stop. But to say it is to admit that my life in someone else's eyes, living or dead, has mattered more than other folks. And I don't think that it does. But someone at some point has believed that. And maybe my life has been better because of it. That night in the chemistry room, all those years ago with Cole and I, I was into it. I liked him. Until he touched my hair. I just thought about all of the kids in school would always ask to touch it. Can I touch it? Can I touch it? And now he was touching it. And I wondered what he thought about it, how he thought it felt, if it felt good or weird or nice. And I wondered if he'd ever been with any other black girls before. And to be honest, it was just all too much. So I told him I had to go home. And I did. I left. That was the closest we ever got. So a week or two later, I messaged him. I thanked her for our conversation. I wanted to keep in touch with her. I wanted to keep talking, keep conversation going, not just about this, but just life in general. Nothing. Well, that was that, I thought. But one morning, I was scrolling through my newsfeed. I saw her picture in saw her picture and name being shared by everyone. They called it a failure to comply. They called it a failure to be silent. So she was made silent. Forever. still hear her voice hanging in the parties. Does the spirit have mass? It must. I can feel the weight. <laughs> 